Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is time and clocks. I think we talked about this um, in that first Zoom that it's very complicated for a lot of dyscalculic learners. So here's just some tips and tricks that you can try. One of the things we did was um, my daughter made her own clock. We got just like a blank faced, no glass on the front clock from Target. And um, what we did, there's a picture of it. We made each of the hours a full color. So one of the things that's complicated for dyscalculic is they get confused. There'll be a number here, a three, but they don't realize that that means any time um, the hand is between here and here, that whole hour is the three o'clock hour. And so they get very muddled. <laughs> And confused about what that means. So this clock has really helped my daughter. She knows. Um, so for example, right now, we're in that 11 o'clock hour. So she knows it's going to be 11 something. And this is the clock she keeps in her room. And it's really helpful. I've only seen, I think one parent showed me an example of one clock that was this way, where the whole hour was colored in, and the numbers were inside instead of on the outside. Um, so you might be able to find more like this. Uh, we just ended up making ours. Uh, so it's a helpful option. You could do it a number of different ways and your child's probably very creative. So maybe let them make their own clock, um, makes sense to them. One other thing that we've done with that very same clock and on the subject of time is we talked about how it's very difficult for dyscalculics to know where they are in the day, they get kind of lost. And um, students with ADHD also have this like similarity. So that can be very complicated. And we also talked about how spreadsheet time schedules are very, and calendars are very difficult for them to read and follow. So we created something just that works for my daughter and it might work for your child as well, but you hopefully is maybe just Use some creative ideas for you to come up with. How could we um, look at the day in a way that makes sense to you and where we can be on time to think? So we took the same clock and I'm always get the, the, the screen. Okay, I think this is right. All right. Um, the screen when you're on Zoom, you're like, is it mirroring? Uh, what's happening? This is my daughter's daily clock. So it's the same clock we cut off literally just like scissors, I cut off the second and the minute hand. And her day starts at, <laughs> backwards, her day starts at nine every day. Um, benefit of being partially homeschooled, she doesn't get up till nine. And she has wake up and breakfast and get ready. And then at 10 o'clock we start homeschool. So that's when she has her um, classes at home, math and science. And then um, about 11.30, she leaves for the rest of the day at the local middle school. Um, so that's how her day goes. So this is a schedule clock that we use paper and double-sided sticky tape because this changes. So, you know, in about a month when it's summer, this calendar date, kind of a daily rough schedule is going to look different and we'll peel all these off and put on the summer schedule. Uh, but this is great because she keeps this above her desk and she can just like quickly look at it and see where she's at in the day. Of course, the day will end again at 9 p.m. Um, and so it's not perfect. It would be great if it was like a full 24 hours and maybe showed when you sleep and all that. But I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Um, but it's great because she can just look at it and quickly see, ah, oh, this is school time. Ah, oh, the dinner time is coming up because literally she just has no sense of where what's happening in the day. And this was especially bad during COVID when we were home all day, every day. Um, this was a really helpful uh, schedule. One option I've noticed, and I'll, I'll share a link to a blog post I did, is there is a time timer, uh, makes daily timers, but they have a new one out that's blank and it's a white erase. And I drew, I kind of made a little picture of how you could use that as your whole day schedule. And it would be flexible because you could dry erase it when different things were happening. And you could set it up um, for that uh, longer, you know, period of time. 
um, which I'll, I'll share that um, as one of the links as something you could look into.